Hello guys, and today I'm coming to with an old kind of flashback, standard death video. That's because I wanted to quickly talk about the updates that Apple made to their core line of computers. That being the iMac and the Mac Pro. I'm also going to talk about the Magic Trackpad that was released. Uh, and the, the, the fact that Apple is now in the battery business. So, um... Uh, on July on July fifteenth, Apple made some updates to their to their product lines, and today I just wanted to talk about them. We're gonna start with a new product <coughs> nicknamed the Magic Trackpad because I think that's the most um kind of evolutionary of all the of all the product now. So um, what 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 this is is it's a, a trackpad like you'd find on the um, MacBooks and MacBook Pros uh, and the MacBook Air, a multi touch glass trackpad, but in a desktop form factor, in a desktop wireless Bluetooth form factor. This, this sits flush with the Apple wireless keyboard and gives uh, desktop users the option to have access to all the gestures that were only previously open to uh, um, the, the, the Apple's notebook lineup. Um, this actually has no more features than the Apple <coughs> trackpads on the laptops. So you're getting a uh, <coughs> laptop trackpad in a desktop form factor. Now, when I go to, when I go to America for two weeks, at the end of the week, I'm actually considering picking up one of these for the simple reason that it's easier for me to use a trackpad than it would be a standard mouse. So I'm thinking about investing in one of those. And if if I get one, I'll be sure to give you guys a full review. Um, okay, so that's the magic trackpad. Next, we'll move on to the... Uh, computer lineup and the updates that were made to the computer lineup. First, firstly, some updates were made to the 21.5 inch iMac, namely that the baseline was up upgraded to a Core i5 processor, um, a Core i3 processor. So I believe 2.2 gigahertz. Again, that's the one point. Um, uh, that's the 21.5 inch iMac, a little um, graphics bump as well, and um, uh, the 27 inch iMac, the um, bottom end is again Core, core i3 with an option to upgrade to Core i5. But the cool thing is that um, you can now get dual drive, so you can get um, an SSD in. Uh, a hard drive for your data and an SSD so you get really fast booting so I think that would be really really cool again it's really expensive because obviously SSD technology is on the higher end of consumer electronics even still but um, but yeah at least you have the option now lastly the thing I'm uh, um, Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk about was the Mac Pro. Now, now this has sort of been Apple's black sheep and their family. It's, ta it's taken a long time for them to update it. And for a, flag <coughs> a flagship machine like this, this is really an unexcusable. Um, but they finally did it. So you can now get 6 or 12 cores of Mac processing power. Um, with the with the top of the line being twelve, you also got a brief spec bump and um, things like that. There's also a new cinema display with uh, an amazing resolution of twenty five sixty by fourteen forty, the same as the twenty seven inch iMac. So if you've got a twenty seven inch iMac, you can have a perfect dual screen that that looks exactly the same. So it fits really, really well with your 27-inch iMac. The, the, 
the price of that is very high. I don't have the exact pricing on me, but it's very, very premium. Just, just like is the case with all of the um, cinema displays going back. But, but um, at least now you have the option to have something that is akin to your 27-inch iMac if you have one. Um, the last major announcement I'm going to talk about is something um, that is is very new to Apple and that is the fact that they are now selling rechargeable batteries. Now these are conventional batteries like you fan fan and else, Joe Cell or anyone else. But what I think was the driving force behind this is since Apple released the iPad they proved that they can have with really some revolutionary battery life. So this is them kind of tapping into that market and um, they're now offering rechargeable batteries that can be inserted into any gadget but that are optimised for the Apple products. As of, as of yet you won't actually get um, uh, Apple batteries or uh, any of the new Apple products but they're available as a more premium option. So that's my coverage on the Apple updates. What do you think of what Apple did? Um, is there anything they missed? Do you think they sh should have updated? I think some of, the, some of the specs were a little bit out outdated. I'm just interested to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, anyway, if you like this video, please subscribe and check out more videos by the link down below. Thanks for, thanks for watching this video and I hope you like it. Bye bye.